Welcome to Cars Mation. After the first-generation Mercedes-Benz CLS debuted in 2004, its success prompted other manufacturers to release their own versions of the car. It wasn't until 2010 that it was decommissioned and coupled with a more sporty station wagon. The current, third-generation model has been available for over four years, whereas the previous version and its five-door variation were both withdrawn in 2018. The AMG's ultimate trim, the GT four-door coupe, stands out visually and mechanically from the Mercedes-Benz's standard offering thanks to its sharper lines and more potent powertrain options. Mercedes-Benz recently turned 50, so the three-pointed star firm must be considering whether or not to have a direct successor. The unauthorized digital illustrations of the executive four-door model were developed by Tia Rajay. Georgie throughout the previous month. Recently, though, we made the decision to have it drawn by AA, and it now appears to have abandoned combustion engines. The closed grille and sharply creased bumper are evocative of the Panamericana design used on current generation AMG vehicles. The rumored EV may have more cargo space under its elongated hood and what appear to be updated versions of the current model's headlamps. The LED taillights, which are united in the middle by a thin light strip, are the focus point at the back, where gentle contours give way to stronger creases. Large but not overbearing, that's the front diffuser. The fender flares and the beefier side skirts work together to give the car a more muscular appearance. Small side mirrors that could be readily replaced with cameras and large multi-spoke alloy wheels, about 23 or 24 inches in diameter on the production model are utilized to attract tech-savvy car owners to choose this vehicle over the BMW 8 Series Grand Coupe and the Audi A7. It's a well-rounded, appealing proposition that, fingers crossed, will make its way to the Mercedes designers of the next-gen CLS. Do you want to see inside? So are we, but this cannot yet be realized, because for the interior there is no source that displays it. We expect a wealth of technical and comfort amenities, including front sport seats, dual screens that dominate the dashboard panel, ambient lighting, and more. We can only assume that the artist behind these sketches plans to add color and even a fabricated backdrop in the near future to make the vehicle appear more lifelike. Or we will make an interior illustration for the Mercedes-Benz CLS Class 2025 using I according to our expectations in the future. Who's no? Thanks for watching.